key is new Tasman Ute. It's not going to be in showrooms until the middle of 2025. But we've got a sneak peek and have a good look around it at the global reveal. Now the initial views, people aren't giving it really good feedback. They're really struck by this bold front end. It's really blunt and abrupt, but there's a lot more to this ute than just its bold styling. Let's have a closer look. When you get down the sides here, the side of the car is really slab sided, almost like a Jeep in that regard. But what Key has done to muscle it up, put these plastic cladding on the sides. It's more like the uh, barbecue apron with the abs painted on it rather than you know, hitting the roids. It's just tacked on the sides there. But it does give that right a good effect. Coming back further down the sides, that padding has a useful part of it. Nice little button here, releases this catch. And you've got what is essentially a glove box. Not much bigger than a pair of gloves in there, but you might get a snatch strap and some soft shackles in there. A nice, easy place to access them. Close that up. It's connected to your central locking. No one can just walk up and steal things from there. Let's get around to the back of the car. You've got the steps here on the sides. Very similar to what we've seen on the Ford Ranger. Make it easier to get in and out of the car. Personally, I found they're not very deep, so you're almost getting your toe in there. Can't get a big boot in, but they'll do. That extra size and width you've got in the cabin translates to the tray, where it's once again very big and spacious. Also well featured, you've got 240 power outlet here in the tray. Run your power tools off, charge your devices. There's another one of those in the cabin as well. Tray lighting, which does make it easy when you're loading stuff up at night and you want to see what you're doing. And a good quality plastic tub liner. This one has also got a powered roller shutter on it, so yeah, that's a handy accessory to have. While the looks of the Tasman might be polarising, under the skid it's pretty much what we're all used to in a double cab ute. There's a ladder frame chassis front to back. Under the front you've got a wishbone IFS system and at the back leaf springs with a live axle. Under the bonnet you've got a four cylinder turbo diesel engine, 2.2 litre in capacity. It makes 441 newton metres of torque and 155 kilowatts of power. Now that might be down on some of the class leaders who are up there at 150 kilowatts and 500 newton metres, but it's still on the money with some of the other leaders in the segment. The drivetrain runs back to a part-time transfer case that offers two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive auto, so you do get some full-time four-wheel drive there, plus four-wheel drive high range and locked low range. Pretty much standard fare once again for all your 4x4 four four utes. Of course inside you've got all the multiple modes for different driving terrain, sand, mud, snow, rock settings, all working together to make this thing capable off-road. Then you've got the standard 3500 kilogram towing capacity. So it is very much run-of-the-mill standard four-wheel drive ute fodder. Kia's gone to a lot of trouble to make sure the interior of this car is going to be a really nice place to travel, whether you're the driver or a passenger. Now they tell us this is bigger inside than your average mid-size ute and without running a tape measure over it, I have to believe it. When you sit here and you put your elbow on the sill, there is bigger than what we're used to. Not quite an American pickup truck, but bigger than most. Lots of features here, you've got two large 12.3 inch screens, one for your driver's information, another one there for your multimedia systems. But they've kept volume control here and Temperature control, all easy to use on switches and dials. So it's nice and simple. 4x4 control here. Once again, on buttons and switches, so easy to use with various drive modes as well. Lots of clever stuff, plenty of space inside. What I really like though is the space they've given us in the back seat. Adults and teenagers are just not suited to the back seat of these utes because the back end here is really upright. It goes under the back of the tray like that. What Key has been able to do with the extra size in this cabin is put a slide function into this seat. Simple as getting the handle underneath and sliding forward gives you much more angle there on the backrest. Now that front seat is set up to my driving position so it is a fair way back but yeah it's giving me a much more comfortable position to be sitting in. Clever stuff. All in all, the Kia Tasman, being a bigger and well-equipped ute, 
is promising to have a big impact on the ute segment when it arrives here in the middle of the year. We're going to have to wait until then before we get behind the wheel and drive it, but we can't wait to show it to you.